Now, it's not a lot of cars that get me excited because obviously I review and drive a lot of cars. It's normally supercars, performance cars that really get me excited. This is a rare exception. Meet the new Kia Sportage. The one thing that you'll see and notice about this car that is standout is the design. The Koreans have literally knocked the ball out the park with this one design-wise. The front looks alien, obviously in a good way. You've got these boomerang daytime running lights and the headlamps are actually embedded around this whole system. I don't know how it works, but they've really done an amazing job. You've got the honeycomb grill going over there. Kia calls it the tiger nose, right? We've seen it in many other models, but it's just different in this new Sportage. It doesn't look like the traditional Tiger nose, which is what makes this extremely unique. Now, the other nice thing about this design is that a lot of cars have cladding around the wheel arches, which is normally just black matte plastic. This is all just gloss and you swing around the back of this car, you'll notice the rear is also just extremely sculptured. It's not a lot of cars that actually have a front and rear that look equally as good. So it's generally just the front that looks good in the car or just the rear. The new Kia Sportage covers all the bases and what really makes this pop is the color. This military green color is just wow. Now, when it comes to the inside, obviously a lot of cars, a lot of manufacturers skimp on the inside. They'll design the outside to look really pretty, which Kia have done here with their amazing designers, but the work didn't stop there. The inside is incredibly beautiful. You've got this massive screen that literally runs from the driver's side as an instrument cluster all the way to the center of the car as an infotainment screen. So, this you normally find in like German cars like your Mercedes-Benz. They've got the screen like this. Um, BMW, I think, is also going this way. So in my opinion, Kia's really, really outdone themselves in this. Just the layout of the interior, the gloss black finishes in this just makes it a beautiful car. Obviously, we're in a higher spec in this Kia Sportage. We've got ourselves heated seats in the front. We've got a heated steering wheel and keyless entry keyless go we've got different driver modes reverse camera hill descent assist there's quite a lot that's been done in here cruise control automatic wipers automatic headlamps now i just love the way this operates right so normally cars have controls for your aircon and controls for your radio kia has gone and integrated both in this car so it's very minimalist it's very digital but you still have a volume dial as well as a track selection dial so to speak or if you want to change radio stations now this doubles up as your aircon so just by pressing one button it switches from your radio controls and your audio controls to your aircon controls that is innovation Now, obviously, people that buy this kind of car care about space. It is an SUV, and the rear seat for me is a comfortable place to be. I'm literally 1.81 meters tall, and without readjusting the driver's seat, I can very, very comfortably fit in the back here yeah, with enough legroom for my knees. I love the fact that Kia has gone on and basically added a little recline to the, to the, to the backrest of this car. The innovation didn't stop in the front, by the way. You've got these handles here, so <laughs> rear seat passengers can actually hold on for dear life. It is a 1.6, but I promise you it kicks. We've got a little hook over here for plastic bags. So if you're coming with groceries and that sort of stuff, you can hook it over here or over here. And it really just is a nice place to be in the back. It's a proper SUV, this. Obviously, cars have become extremely expensive. I think everyone knows that. 
This over here starts at about 550,000 Rand and it peaks at 750. I'm always complaining about car prices, but for me, this is worth the money. It's not a lot of cars, especially SUVs for me, that I say, I'd probably pay money for this. And the Kia Sportage, I'd pay money for it.